new programs. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Rest day. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Coach Jono here with my Friday update show. Poor little said Rado's very tired, so I thought I'd just do it here because he's having a little sleepy sleep. So, good news. Got my program from Tristan. Very nice. Look at this. The quality of this. This is very nice. This is very nice. Anything better than anything I do. All right. So, the good news is he's given me a very specific outline and he's Broken it down into Monday, squat and legs day. Ooh, it's chest day, but that's all right. Tuesday is chins and pull. Wednesday is the kettlebell session for kettlebell level three. Thursday is deadlifts and chins. Friday, today, rest day. Perfect. Saturday, circuit and Sunday, mountain biking, which is fantastic. So the periodization focus, which is very important for specifically what I'm doing, is the first uh, one to six weeks is specific uh, prep phase. So the outcome is uh, strength slowly bringing reps down. And then the eight to 14 week phase is specific preparation. Uh, reps are kept low, one to five, to get comfortable with the intensity. Uh, comp rules, so that's uh, powerlifting comp rules. I'll have to check what they are. Um, and stress of the environment. So I don't know, Tristan's probably gonna like be mean to me or something, so I'm, I'm better with the uh, stress. I don't know, we'll see. So the good thing is he's programmed and if everything works out well, which it will, uh, the weights that I'll get. So uh, the current weights going across will equal the uh, testing weight. So current weights for uh, squat 1RM is 100, and then we're going to 115 after the first six weeks, so test again and then 135 at the end of the 14 weeks, which is very heavy, fancy. Then from there, chins, uh, seven, we're at seven. Oh, I called it seven, seven eights, he called it seven. You know, let's agree to disagree, I guess. From there, going to 10 and then to 12. I reckon I'll, I'll be able to get more than that because you know, I'm, getting, I'm getting good at chins. I'm really, I'm really feeling good about those, so I'm happy. Deadlifts, now this was for two. So I did 107.5 for two. So um, I'm hoping it's 125 for two and then 140 for two. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, he's broken it up into um, some pretty good uh, exercises. And it's pretty simple. I'll tell you what, guys. It's pretty simple. Nothing crazy, which is good. You know, he's just got me doing deadlift singles, then some myofascial release, then with the Romanian deadlift, then some stretching, uh, weighted hip raise with a back extension, and then barbell, uh, sorry, dips, uh, dip bar, knee raises. So that's on the dips and then doing knee raises. That's, that's going to be hard. And then fit ball ABC. He said up to M. I don't know, like, so you do the alphabet on a fit ball. Capital letters, he said. Um, but that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> um, from there, that, sorry, that was the deadlift day. Make that clear makes sense but so then so monday is the uh, legs and squat day so it's a, a barbell back squat four by eight so that's very good um so starting out at 75 kilos going up from there uh last set got a max out so if something specifically he said and this is for anyone else out there that wants to try and achieve similar goals to me he said you're going to do four by eight and you're starting at 75 he said, make sure the last set maxes out because if you've got more in the tank, you didn't do it heavy enough. So if I've got more, he said, do more. So that's the big thing. Uh, also with the deadlifts, same thing. Then single-legged uh, box squats uh, and then some trigger pointing. Bulgarian. Now this, this was a debated topic. I'm going to put it out to you. What do you guys call it? A called it a Bulgarian split squat. I call it a Bulgarian lunge because it's a lunge pattern. But, um, you know, I'll film it and, and we'll talk about it more. Uh, a Paolo raise. Now, he said it differently. Just like a single arm vertical fly, a uh, rear fly. Then some laying hip raises. So that'll be good. He's called this bench push day, but then he crossed out bench press. So 
I'm pretty upset, but... Uh, so then it goes pull-ups on bench day, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, and then weighted push-ups. That's my only chest exercise, weighted push-ups. From there, uh, <clears throat> a chest raise, assisted chins, um, band pull-aparts, uh, inverted rows. Like, I'm doing heaps of pull exercises. So my back is going to be sore. Um, then some core exercises. Uh, and that's that's basically it. That's basically it from him. So for myself, so he said kettlebell session on Wednesday. So I've been doing that on Mondays. I'll just change it. It's easy enough. So what I've currently been doing is three sets of each, 10 reps of each with a 16 kilo kettlebell. So I'm going to be doing it differently again. So I'm going to be doing uh, 30 snatches each arm, have a break, do uh, three sets of uh, 10 each. So then we first go... Uh, swings, so just a double swing. That it double, sorry, double swings. So two 16 kilo double bells. The snatch is single arm. Let me grab out two kettlebells. We do double swing, ten reps break. Do that three times through. Then uh, the jerk kettlebell jerk, uh, ten reps break three times through, and then squats. So that's what I'll be working on. Uh, and I'm trying to keep the rest really short. Uh, my aim is to do 16 this coming week, and then. 16 the week after, and then hopefully move to 20 kilo bells, do the same thing. Uh, the only thing that I find difficult is the jerks, because that's more of a technique issue. Um, I'll film some some jerks, and I'll show you what I mean, because a kettlebell jerk is very interesting. I really like the movement, but it's very hard to get right, especially when you're doing multiple reps, trying to do the breathing. The breathing pattern is super important, but it's really good exercise. So... That's about it, guys. That's that's the show. Um, I still don't have a name for it, so if you guys could uh, think up a name and let me know, then I'd uh, happily call it that. Prizes for whoever comes up with the best name. Um, you know, like I said last week, I'm just putting this show out there for you guys to get a bit of insight into me and how I like to exercise my goals. Uh, it keeps me accountable. Um, and if you're interested, just you know, hit that thumbs up, share it. You know, do whatever. That tells me that you appreciate it. If not, I'll just stop doing it, I guess. I'm not going to stop doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. All right. Thanks, guys. Let me have you.